Welcome to Lothar's Guitar School and lesson three on sight reading for beginners uh, based on the Berkeley method and all the PDFs you can have for free if you write to Lothar's Guitar School at gmail.com. And here we go. On page 13 we have three duets, a voice A and a voice B. We first play the B voice and I put it into the looper so we can hear together what it sounds like. You don't have to do that when you practice on your own, that's fine. But uh, for now you can just play first the B line and when I count in again the A line. So let's try. First exercise, voice B in the key of F with a B flat. One, two, a one, two, three, four. Watch out, there's a B-flat in it. A one, a two, a one, two, three, four. Okay, that was exercise one. Exercise two is again on the key of C. And we do the same thing, we start with the bottom voice first, the B voice. One, two, a one, two, three, four. And again we do with the top voice together when I count in. Exercise three is in the key of D, so we have an F sharp and a C sharp. Watch out. Again, we play the bottom voice first. A one, a two, a one, two, three, four. out the C sharp in the top voice. A one, a two, one, two, three, four. Okay, that was it for those three duets. And now there's a little theory underneath a tie connects the note without hitting it again, a note with the same pitch, so and uh, it keeps it for the duration of both notes. Like we have an F half note connected to a F half note means it's just four beats. One, two, three, four. The next one is a, half, a whole note connected to a quarter note, so it's those four plus one. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, we'll have more examples on uh, page 14. On page 14 we have now two longer exercises, both of them 16 bars long, with all the th things we would had so far. The first one is a 3-4 time in the key of F, so it has a B flat in it, and it has two ties, uh, three quarter notes connected to the uh, next quarter of the next bar. So uh, let's do that together. I count two bars in. One, two, three, two, two, three. Okay. 
Okay. The next one, do sir, is in the key of G. So we have an F sharp in it. Fourth fret of the D string. Watch out. And the same thing again, but this time we are again in 4-4 four, four time again. One, two, one, two, three, four. for page 14. On page 15 we learn the repeat sign. A repeat sign is a double bar line with two dots in the middle spaces. That means between those two signs you repeat everything. And if it's the beginning of a song you don't have to have the first one. It just means when it comes to the end of the uh, phrase and the repeat sign then you go to the beginning. So uh, when we look now at uh, exercise three, that means, because it's from the beginning, we repeat the whole thing twice. So let's do it. One, two, one, two, three, four. Exercise 4 is basically the same thing, we repeat between those two signs. Um, let's do it. It's in the key of F, so there's a B flat in it. Actually, in the melody, it's not uh, F, G, A, and C. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. a repeat sign that repeats just one bar. If you have that sign on exercise 5 it means you repeat the previous bar. And on exercise 6 we have something like that. The bar 2 is repeated on bar 3. Let's do it in the key of F. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. Same thing in exercise 7, but there are two bars repeated. So what you have in bar 1 is repeated in bar 2 and 3. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. And another repeat sign when it is connected with two bars and has a two on top, the two previous bars are repeated. So let's do exercise nine. In the key of C. One, two, one, two, three, four. set for page 15. Now on page 16 the eighth note is introduced. An eighth note has half a beat, so two eighth notes are one beat. And we counted one and two and three and four and. Look at the exercise, those first uh, two uh, lines there. 
we start with one and two, three, four, one and two and three, four, next line, one and two and three and four, one and two and three and four. And the foot always goes on the downbeat. And when we play with a pick, we always play now a downstroke on the one and on the ends we always have upstrokes. So far we only had downstrokes, now we play down, up, down, up. So it's when we play um, that exercise, it is one and two and three and four. And um, let's do it now together. One, one, two. One, two, three, four. Okay, exercise one says count aloud the first time and then play it the second time. So I'll have the metronome running. One, two, three, four. One and two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One and two, three, four. One, two, three, play. Exercise in the key of F again. One, count first. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, four. One, two, three, four. And now we play. One, two, a one, two, three, four. Page 17, we have three exercises, each eight bars long. We count in our mind. Look at the eighth note figures, what's difficult. Bar two, four, and six have the same one, two, and three, four. Okay, let's do it. In the key of G, so it has one sharp. One, two, one, two, three, four. Okay, exercise two, again in the key of G. Now we have one and two and three for additionally. One. Two, one, two, three, four. Third exercise in the key of F. So there's a B flat in it. One, two, one, two, three, four. Phew. Okay, that's it for seventeen. Now to page 18. We have different exercises in different keys with eighth notes. And I play it a little slower than before. First one is still quarter notes, but anyways. Key of F. One, two, one, two, three, four. Second exercise, one, two, three, four. One, three, four. In the key of C, 
the third exercise. One, two, three, four. The fourth exercise, again key of C. One, two, three, four. Fifth exercise is the key of G, so I have one F sharp in it. One, two, one, two, three, four. And the exercise number six, again, key of C. One, two, three, four. Exercise seven, the key of D with the F sharp and a C sharp. A one, two, a one, two, three, four. Exercise eight in the key of D again. One, two, three, four. And the last two are in the key of F again. One, two, three, four. Number ten. One, two, three, four. That's it for page 18. Thanks for watching this video on sight reading for beginners lesson 3. I hope you liked it and hope to see you soon at Lothar's Guitar School. Don't forget to subscribe. Take care and bye bye.